last year when you guys made the run for the title down in the end? I think that our confidence is starting to you know, build up slowly but surely. Um, not only on the pitching side, but the hitting side now. I think we're really starting to click together as a team. and It's definitely not there yet, but it's definitely getting on the right progression scale that we, we want it to be at. Why is that? Just work in the process. You know, we use the word process a lot for our everyday lives, and you know, it relates not only to baseball but to schoolwork and everything else off the field. So I feel like we're buying into that and you know, executing that very well right now. Is that what happened with the two losses at Arizona State and you bounced back from those two? You know, I feel like even those two losses in Arizona, Arizona State, we were we were working the process. You know, we came back and made runs at both of those games, and I just feel like there's portions of our game that are there a lot of the times and there sometimes, and I feel like they're starting to click more consistently, and that's why the wins are stacking up the way they are right now for us. Talk about Heineman, you know, what he was able, obviously, you lead the team in home runs, but to see his display and to see him come back from where he was last year, what is that like for you to to see him succeed. You know, I've seen Scott since we were both in high school together. He showed up my junior year. So I've seen him, you know, for some out of six years from where we are now. And it's just, it's awesome to watch him go. You know, I've never seen the power that he's showing right now. And it's really special to, to watch the performances that he's throwing out on a daily basis. And not only the games with this, the pitch by pitch and the bat by bat, just watching him mature and grow up to the ball player he is right now is really special for me. Obviously a lot of ebbs and flows in this game. What's it like going to the plate? in the middle of one of those hot streaks? You really don't think about anything. It's just, I'll give my next at bat, let's go, like I'm ready for it. Um, and obviously Scott's in that mode right now. Um, and baseball is very, very, very many uh, ebbs and flows. So when you get the hot streaks, you want to ride them out as long as you can. When you get the cold streaks, you want to find a way to get out of them as quickly as you can. But I really want, I love watching him come to the bat right now, and I'm just happy I'm feeling part of the team with him on right now. What do you know about this UCLA ball club? You know, I'm from Southern California, so I have a lot of friends on the team and stuff like that. One of my high school teammates is on there, Kevin Williams. So I think we're all very familiar with one another. So it's going to be a, a very, very good dogfight this weekend, good battle. So I'm excited for the opportunity we have. Not only that, but it's for you know second place. They're they're right behind you. How excited are you to you know to be home and to face you know kind of guys you played with in Southern California? Yeah, it's, it's very exciting for us. You know, when we have a, a highly ranked team come into all, our ballpark, you know, we get to show them who we are and, you know, play the game of baseball. It's never really about who the other team is. It's more about who we are and how we're going to execute our game and go from there. And, you know, I feel like when we do that, we have a very good chance of winning the game. How about just coming back after, you know, sweeping at Cal, the, you know, the problems that you guys have had at Cal over the years? How much confidence did that give you to be able to win on the road and coming back here on the streak that you're on? I think a lot of us have a lot of confidence right now. It's very special what we did on the road to finally get our first road sweep in the Pac-12. Um, I feel like coming back here to play in uh, PK Park for the first time in two and a half weeks is going to be a lot of fun, a lot of energy, and hopefully the fans will come out and support us. But you know, we had a very good fan base yesterday in Portland, which is two hours away, so that was special to see. So I'm excited to see the turnout we get this weekend.